so we are working through examples of utilizing the derivative. In our last example, we first, of course, computed the derivative of our g function, g of x equals 1 over x, and that gave us g prime of x equals negative 1 over x squared. Then we used that to give us the slope at a specific point of x equals 2, and we came up with the slope of negative 1 fourth. And we also used that to come up with the equation of our tangent line. What we want to do now is we want to double check all of these values that we have here. The first thing that we want to check is do we have the correct y value for our ordered pair? Then do we have the correct slope value? And last but not least, do we have the correct equation of our tangent line? And our graphing calculator will check all three of these things individually for us. You just have to know how to use it. So I have my graphing calculator here, and in my y function, I have substituted in my equation, 1 over x. Let's go ahead and graph this on the standard window. We can see the graph that looks like this here. And then we're going to check all three of those things that I mentioned earlier. So the very first thing that we want to double check is do we have the correct y value? Now, we can do that under the calculate feature. So if I push the second and the calculate feature, notice the first option is to just give us a value, hence the y value that corresponds with the x value. So you can hit 1 or you can hit enter. Now, it prompts you down here to input in what your specific x value is, and then it will give you the corresponding y value. So in our problem, we have that our x value in question is 2. So we just need to substitute in 2 and select Enter to select, and we see that y equals 0.5. Now, unfortunately, the calculator gives this to us as a decimal, but that's very easily converted. 0.5 is, of course, the same thing as 1 half. So there, that 4 checks our y value to confirm that we have that correct. Now, that's actually the long way to double check that you have the y value. Let me show you the shorter way, and that's going to be the way that I'll probably check it from here on out for the rest of the semester. So just going back like I just graphed it, whenever you're trying to find a y value, the easier way to do it is just to push the trace button. Now, it doesn't prompt you, so it may be a little bit misleading, but you can actually type in specific x values here. So all you have to do is type in trace, and then the x value that we're looking at. Notice it looks the exact same way that it does before. Enter, and so that gives us the answer there. So we don't have to do the second calc, and then option number one, we can skip all those steps by just pushing the trace button. The second thing that we want to check is, do we have the correct slope of this problem? Well, we know the slope is computed by the tangent line, and we know that we can compute the slope of the tangent line by the derivative. So let me go back to the very first time I gave you the formula of the derivative, and that was this here. But also let's look at the notations that was given along with it. So we've seen this f prime of x notation, and we've used it a couple of different times in a couple of different examples. But we have not talked about this dy dx notation yet, and I'll talk about that in one of the next few examples. But the dy dx notation is exactly the same thing. It is a notation for the derivative, hence the slope of the tangent line or the slope of the original line. So the way that we check this is underneath calculate. Second, and then calculate. And notice option number six, dy dx. That is one of the notations that we can use for derivative. So we're going to use option number six. You can either scroll down to six and push enter, or I'm just going to hit the six option here. Now again, it doesn't prompt you anything here, 
So you have to tell your calculator where you're looking at specifically. We are looking at, in our example, when our x value is 2. So we have to type in 2 and then hit enter. Notice it tells you what your dy dx is. Now this fancy calculator gives you the other things here, but most likely on your calculator at home, it only gives you the dy dx value. Again, it gives us to it as a decimal, negative 2.5, which corresponds to our fraction of negative one-fourth. So we have double-checked the slope. Now something that I want to point out, and both the y value and the slope that we just checked in the calculator, it not only gave us the numbers down here, but it also gave us a point on the graph. So this is the point that we are looking at very specifically, where my cursor is at here. That is very important because when I check the third part, that is where I want my tangent line to intercept the graph. So when I type in my tangent line, I want to make sure it intercepts my point at the exact same place, meaning this point here. And I want to make sure it has the exact same slope as my original function. So it should briefly touch that graph and follow the graph at that point, but not do anything else crazy along the way. So the way that we check this specific tangent line is we take our equation and we substitute it in for the y equals. So we're going to substitute it in for the second y equation. So I type in my negative 1 fourth x plus 1, because that was the equation of the tangent line that we came up with. So let's go ahead and look back at this on the graph. Again, we want to double check two things. Does it intersect my graph at that point, which it does, and does it have the exact same slope of my graph at that point, which it does? So that means that we have came up with the correct equation of the tangent line. So here is how we check all three steps to this process by using your graphing calculator.